Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are back with another rendition of How Cheap Is It? And we're getting to the point now where we're going to cover BT15 decks, but also cover decks that see play in BT16 as well, even beyond that. So you guys can maybe start thinking ahead of maybe these are decks that I should consider grabbing for the BT16 Plus meta. That's definitely something you could do, and we're kind of keeping that in mind with starting off with today's choice, which is Mirage Galgamon the deck. The deck that has grown popular in BT15, but still sees play in BT16 and beyond, even with one Mac Galgamon EX4 or whatever, it still sees a lot of play. It is consistent. Uh, and don't forget that BT16 does give us Mirage Galgamon support, gives us a new jamming inheritable. Now, technically, you're, technically it's a Grace Nova card, but like it's also a, a, a Galgamon. So like we get a little bit of support here and there, and it's pretty cool. So today we're gonna discuss how cheap is this deck? Is it the cheapest deck so far? Is it budget? Is it expensive? I don't know, I guess we'll find out. And if you guys enjoy this content, please like, comment, subscribe, and turn that notification bell to smash potatoes. That way you know when all these amazing Digimon videos go live. Let me know what video you wanna see next. You know, I'm down for suggestions, got some cool stuff. All right, anyway, so we'll start with BT11 Mirage Galgamon here. Uh, as you can see, 1076 is uh, it's an expensive card. No, it's a super rare, you know, whatever. That's okay. Let me actually get rid of this. That looks not professional. That's better. So, uh, yeah, you know, whatever. We'll call it 11, 11 bucks a card will be nice. 11 bucks a card. You need four of it, obviously. There's 44 bucks right there. Okay, there's your race of the deck. Fine. What about this Mirage Galgamon? Well, this one... You really only play one copy of it, and I'm happy to report it's worth nothing. It's bulk. So we're going to just call it at the bulk um, uh, 25 cents. You only I've never seen anyone play more than one copy of this, so we'll leave it at just one copy of that. And the big finisher, the Mirage Galgamon Burst Mode here, you look at the shipping here and, and all that, you know, you got over two bucks here, you got under two bucks here. It's kind of inconsistent. Uh, we'll call this at $1.50 per and uh it's gonna be hard to tell i know uh, maybe i can extend this a little bit so you guys can kind of get an idea there we go oh, that's better i like that yeah that's fine uh, you know what we'll call it two bucks and we'll say you gotta play three again I, I very rarely seen people play more than three of this so we'll leave it at three for now just to keep things budget you know uh as for the eggs uh this is the most expensive egg you can play i think in the deck at the 75 cents dollar mark when you mon draws you card if you have a blue tamer. I'm gonna go ahead and put this at a dollar each, and we're gonna say that maybe you just buy four of it. And this is obviously BT11 when you mon, not to be confused with the older one. And then we have Bukamon that everyone plays one copy of, but this is just a bulk uncommon at this point. We'll put it at 25 cents, and if you're playing more than one of that, then you're cheating, and that's very bad. So now we go on to rookies. We're going to the rookies here. Gomamon from BT14 is a card that people play sometimes as a play set. So we'll call it that. We'll call it a play set. And you can kind of see the prices here over shipping, you know, kind of just over two bucks and whatever. Um, we will call BT14 Gomamon a uh, a $2 card that maybe you want to buy four copies of just to have them. I think that's reasonable. It's not too bad. Start main phase trashes something and then the, this Digimon can't be blocked. So if you can like trash a source and then go all the way up into Mirage, it can't be blocked, which can come in handy, especially if you have a jamming inheritable like Bukamon in there. You know, pretty annoying stuff. Then upon this turn when this card will be deleted, play Gomamon from Digivolution cards. You know, it's not too bad. People will be gunning to kill your Mirage Galgomon, so this is in the source, so you get a free body out. That's good value, it's how people play it, it's fine. Um, here we have Betamon. People are playing this more and more now because of the jamming inheritable. However, we're just going to put it in the bulk common price of uh, 25 cents and maybe you buy four copies of it. Sure, no problem. Um, Madoki Betamon, a floodgate that stops memory things from happening except by tamer effects. Uh, again, we'll call it a bulk common and some people play multiple of this um, at 25 cents. On top of that, there, there's another blue floodgate some people try to throw in their decks. It's Siakumon. The one that prevents people from reducing digivolution cost. Um, it's also 25 cents. I'm not going to worry about throwing it in here. Uh, but I've never seen anyone play more than two of that. 
So I don't think it's that big of a deal, honestly, if I admit it. Uh, right now, this is the only Galmon that's seeing play. So this is the only one I'm going to include in this deck. That's not going to be 50 cards again. This is just us doing a little bit of, you know, what what are people playing? What are people buying, basically? Uh, it's an uncommon in this bulk. It's another 25 cent card. Oh, good. Okay, great. We'll move on then to a couple Galamon cards. The one from EX4 that when it evolves, you bounce a three to the hand and uh, your turn once per turn, if something goes to the hand, gain a memory. Pretty cool. And then we have uh, BT13 one. The one that plays Thomas for free if you don't have one on the board. These are the two Gal Galgamons that people play. So I think it's fair to just say that these are the two that we're going to focus on for this video. Uh, oh, that was weird. And again, you saw the prices, right? <laughs> the price is right. You get it? Get it? Okay, well, there we go. Just like that, another two play sets is another $2. Fine. Uh, Lanamon. Lanamon is a blue hybrid. Some people play other different blue hybrids, whatever. Uh, I'm going to be very, very, very nice with this and say that people are playing maybe three other champions in their deck. So we'll call this a three of uh, at uh, 50 cents per, for, or whatever hybrid you want. Some people like Kudamon, some people like Kori Kakumon, I guess. I don't, I don't know. But we have our blue hybrid there, our third champion. I think that's fine. Whatever. Reasonable price. Also, we're at $69 conveniently. Nice. Let's go to our fives. Uh, we have a rare Mac Galgamon here from BT11 that is worth nothing, but is your best level five in the deck in archetype right now, because this one is technically also the best one, but it is at only one, which matters a lot. Now, these are both very, very cheap cards. Again, bulk. So we're just going to call it like this, just like that. Again, if you're playing more than one of the EX4 one, you are doing something illegal, which is not good. You should try to stay away from doing illegal things. Uh, Zudomon Ace. This is a hand trap that people are playing more and more, as we can see by the price spike here. Um, I'm going to say that most people play three of this, because I don't think I've seen a deck play more than three of it. We'll call it 875 per at three copies. That's 26.25. You know, it's not too bad. Card's okay. Uh, we're almost done now. We're done with all the Digimon, so we're going to move on to the options next. Some people will pay play some kind of removal suite, like Full Moon Meteor Impact, and maybe people will try to fit in two copies of this card at 25 cents is what it's worth. So whatever, we'll just leave it at that. Sure. Um, Ice Wall. Some people play the one of Ice Wall. And again, very, very cheap card. Uh, we'll, we'll go as far as to call this one 50 cents. Why not? Again, only you can only play one of this card. Blue is a lot of limited cards. Wow. Bandai must be really gunning against blue. Crazy. Uh, Sorai. This is actually a little bit of an expensive uncommon because the card is really good. And I've seen people cap this off at four copies per deck. Now, I think it's a little bit unreasonable. But just on the off chance you want to buy four, well, then it's, we'll call it four dollars roughly. It's what you're going to spend on your play set of Sorai's. Okay, fine. Uh, blue memory boost if you get this art i mean there's three cheap arts three cheap sets of it but this is the cheapest one and we'll call it just 25 cents per and maybe again you're buying a play set at most okay no problem here uh and last card i'm gonna bring up besides the other random text you know some people play hammer spark and like i said sagamon sayakamon and like other random things won't worry about that stuff it's not expensive anyway People will play four copies of Mental Training, though, at, uh, we'll call it $7 a pop. So I think that's reasonable. So lowest rarity here, we're looking at $130.50 deck, which seems to be right around our average. It, we, we seem to be entering a point in Digimon where good decks cost over 100 bucks, but, like, not, not too much more than that, right? I would argue that this deck falls right in line with that, which is pretty cool. Now, if you wanted to go max rarity, well, let me just tell you about Mirage Galgamon for a second here. You can go crazy on your Mirage Galgamons. Because in case you didn't know, there is a lottery card version of the burst mode. Uh, which you would play three of, right? At $165 a pop, right? That's just shy of $500 for three cards. Okay, whatever. 
So you're $500 for those. These are cheapish for, for right now, 16 bucks per, we'll call it 60 for a play set. Then you're at $560 roughly. Um, that is a thing that can happen. Uh, something else that also has a max rarity printing that may be considered is blue memory boost. You know, the digital, the promo box here, you know, if you want four copies of it, that's gonna run you about 70, 70, 70 72 bucks, right? So just like that, you're over 600 bucks for your max rarity Mirage Galgamon deck. Uh, Zudomon Ace. Did you know Zudomon Ace has two lottery card versions for it? And the most expensive one is $225 and you want three of it? That's 750 bucks right there. That bumps up your deck to almost $1,400 in value, right? Did we miss anything like super crazy? I guess Altar Galgamon's not worth that much. Uh, Altar Rodeo Cavadion's not worth that much anymore. Uh, this is just regular stuff at this point, I think. Yeah, so like, you can spend $1,400 in Max Rarity Mirage Galgamon if you so choose. Um, is that worth it to you? I mean, that's up to you if you want to do that. There are, this is definitely, this is one of the cheaper decks I'd say to Max Rarity. Uh, because, you know, it's not like Yellow Vaccine where there's like a lot of lottery cards you can buy and all that kind of stuff or Imperial with actual price cards or whatever. You know, this, this, this is actually, you know, I'm not going to call it affordable, but if, if you want something kind of mid-tier, like, like on the cheaper end of expensive Max Verdi, this is probably the way to go. Uh, once you add everything that together, probably 1600 US dollars roughly for a Max Verdi Mirage Gagamon deck. If that's, all, if that's something you want to do, by all means, go for it. But you can build the deck and buy extras of all the cards you need. Like, you can buy 63 cards for 130 bucks, And I don't think that's that bad for a Tier 1 deck, honestly. We are setting a baseline, though, and a lot of decks, Tier 1, are in this range right now. That is kind of how it is right now. Is that good or bad? I don't know. I'll leave you in the comment section to tell me if this range is good or bad for Tier 1 meta. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you later. Bye!